smo na sedežu slovaške avtomobilske industrije. Mr. Pribula, um, for the beginning, how hard it was to let the automotive industry inside your country? Uh, what are the pros and the cons against it? So, it was a not so difficult decision to, to consider automotive industry as uh, important for the Slovak government because, or Slovak country, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, Slovakia was in past very strong oriented on the machinery industry, mainly defense industry. Mm -hmm. And after this big economic political changes, it was a big problem for our country to transform this industry because the old markets were not more mm -hmm. for disposal and uh, and uh, we 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 uh, uh, have to have to find a new way mm -hmm. uh, i said we were oriented on the machinery industry and uh, automotive industry were as a very good solution for us because automotive industry is machinery industry mm -hmm. but also it is very complex. It's also chemical industry. It's also uh, rubber industry, mm -hmm. electrotechnical, and so on and so on. Therefore, this this idea to connect to this industry, to the future industry, to, to this future transformation of the industry, uh, this this uh, wide spread of of, uh, of uh, industries uh, was was very very in interesting and important for for us. But the transformation was easier if you were focusing from, I don't know, agriculture to automotive industry, from coming from the already similar industries. Of course, because uh, what is very important to have enough skilled uh, people mm -hmm. for, for this with, with, uh, with uh, knowledges and also with good uh, attitude to, to work in, in the factories. Mm -hmm. what, what did you have to give? You know what I'm saying? Um, in order to get such big companies, the Kia is one of them, uh, to get them into the countries to employ your people, what did you have to sacrifice? So, of course, it was, it was not, not so easy. At first, the government had to say, yes, we would like to transfer this economy and we would like to, to have automotive industry in Slovakia. It was prepared special strategy for this. The government, uh, government uh, uh, announced a special position it was government plenipotentiary, which was responsible for this automotive industry development in Slovakia. At first, first step was to increase or to develop at first the uh, supplier industry. And after this, if you have supplier industry in the country, you can offer this industry and this country also to the investors, uh, for the investor to the, to the automotive industry, to assembly of the cars. What did you expect from brands, from the automotive um, industry? What did you expect and what did you get on the other hand? Uh, yes, uh, what, what, uh, what we can offer at first, yes. Mm -hmm. We offer, of course, the skilled workforce, uh, the level of labor cost, and of course uh, the situation in the time it was close to the, uh, the new century. Mm -hmm. In the time, Slovakia was on the way to NATO, to European Union, and this, this all create the stable political environment. Mm -hmm. It was more stag stages in our development because uh, the, the first, first uh, car manufacturer in Slovakia was Volkswagen. Mm -hmm. Volkswagen came to Slovakia on the base of uh, negotiation between Slovak government and uh, car makers, and they try to find the best solution. Our government try to find best solution who will be as an investor for the uh, Bratislava Automotive Company. This was this was company which were uh, which which uh, uh, which uh, was uh, uh, built in uh, in uh, past uh, past regime. And this, uh, this uh, automotive uh, company, Bratislava Automotive Company, uh, this was as a base for the, for the future, future, future investment. Uh, at the time was more, uh, more uh, investor here in Slovakia and uh, winner was Volkswagen. 
Volkswagen started with the production very very slowly with small amount uh, with small small uh, units uh, in the first years and uh, first first uh, first uh, big big uh, break break uh, point was uh, in 2000 more or less in 2000 when Volkswagen decided that uh, the new project this SUV project will be located here in Bratislava. This SUV project represents uh, Volkswagen Touareg, Porsche Cayenne and Audi, Audi Q7. Mm -hmm. And this was very important because only Slovakia is producer or the plant in Slovakia is producer of these cars and therefore it was very important or it was interesting for Volkswagen to have also their system suppliers. Before, because before in Slovakia we didn't have system suppliers, we didn't have suppliers which are as a global companies. Yes? And this, were, this was the uh, first, first, uh, first, uh, first step for, for the Slovak automotive industry uh, grow. Uh, in that time, I have to say, in that time we were not in, in uh, negotiation with, with the European Union. We, we, ha we, we are able to prepare for the investors the conditions which were not, not usual uh, from point of view this, this time. Yes? Okay. The different different uh, situation was uh, regarding uh, in time when when uh, Peugeot and Kia came to Slovakia. In that time, we were either in negotiation or we were in European Union, and there, in that time, we had to consult the the uh, total amount and also the forms of uh, state aid, mm -hmm. and uh, therefore we have to prepare more or the same conditions from point of view state aid as the countries which were as our competitors. Mm -hmm. And at that time it was of course important that we, we, we are in, in NATO, we are, we are in, in the European Union, uh, we, we, we were in the preparation to, to have the, the Euro and so on and so on. Of course skilled workforce, uh, of course, uh, supplier industry, mm -hmm. developed supplier, supplier industry, the, the location in Slovakia, uh, it is important to have, to have, uh, to have enough, uh, enough um, uh, proposals for, for, uh, for, uh, for investors uh, from point of view good locations mm -hmm. that they can locate it, their, uh, their investments with good connections, with, with, uh, with uh, good connections not only uh, to, to roads, but also another infrastructure. And this was also important to have enough uh, or, or at least such locations where, and we can offer this, these locations to, to, to the investors. How did uh, the emergence of automotive industry help uh, with the unemployment rate? Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, today, Today uh, we have in Slovakia uh, three car makers. Ford one is on the construction, under construction. Uh, today, automotive industry direct uh, direct employment in automotive industry is more uh, more than 127,000 uh, people, and automotive industry in flu total more than 250 mm -hmm. uh, work workplaces. Uh, this is this is this is very important to say that this is uh, more than uh, ten percent of all employed people in Slovakia, and uh, but this this uh, nine ten percent, uh, more or less nine ten percent, uh, they produce more than twelve percent of of GDP. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is uh, uh, very important to say because. From this, this, uh, this uh, numbers, you can see that Slovakia is, is very strongly dependent on the automotive mm -hmm. industry. Yeah, the, can you compare the unemployment rates before and after? No, it's of course in the in the nineties, uh, uh, last 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 century, the unemployment rate was close to 24, 25 mm -hmm. percent. Today, Slovakia has uh, more or less 10 percent. In time when, when uh, the, the crisis was uh, in 2008-2009, the unemployment rate was 
uh, close to 40. With so much automotive industry in Slovakia, are you scared that you're going to run out of skilled force? Are, are you working on that as well? Because some, at some point there are just not yeah. going to be enough workers left. Automotive industry, uh, long term, uh, uh, long term, informed the the people who are close to the government and also the, the government that. Uh, we are dependent on, on three factors from uh, three factors from point of view competitiveness. One of these is skilled workers to have enough skilled people. Second one is is uh, research and development mainly by in, in the in the supplier industry, and third one is uh, is um, devel or development of, of, of the supplier industry. Uh, shortening of, of, of the log logistical way and increase of flexibility of deliveries. Uh, today, you are right. Uh, we we face we face to the uh, to the lack of the uh, of the uh, skilled people because the supplier industry and also automotive industry is uh, is very 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 uh, developed very very fast in the last years and um, we were we were as an initiator of the transformation of our uh, uh, educational education laws we we have prepared um, the the we have prepared the, the new Law which which uh, is uh, in, in the vocational education for the vocational education, and uh, we introduce dual system. Mm -hmm. So with the emergence of automotive industry, um, you have to find more skilled people, right? It yeah. is they're slowly taking everybody that yeah. knows the stuff. Yeah. Of course. In general, we have three ways how to how to uh, will have enough uh, skilled people. First one is the education system. Automotive industry was as an initiator of uh, transformation of our education system. Uh, we were as an initiator of new law which, which, uh, which prepare or which, which announce uh, the uh, dual education system for the vocational, uh, vocational education. Today we are on the preparation of the uh, transformation also the, the high schools or, or the, the uh, universities mm -hmm. uh, education mainly technical uh, technical uh, uh, faculties and and also uh, uh, faculties which are oriented on uh, preparing of the people or, or the skilled people for for the industry second way this is the requalification today we are and this this first this vo vo uh, transformation of, of of the education system. This is system remedy. Mm -hmm. Long term remedy is is uh, this this requalification or are this requalification. Today we are uh, under preparation of special project for the requalification of of the people who are skilled but not in uh, not uh, uh, with orientation on the industry. Uh, these people were 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 uh, prepared in our uh, in our uh, education system, but without without uh, without um, uh, without idea w uh, how they they would like to study and if they will have some some uh, some job yeah. after they finish the study. Yes, and uh, these people we have to requalify. Mm -hmm. And third, and this is the last possibility, to open the, the labor market for the countries uh, from, uh, uh, from the third, third uh, uh, countries. Mm -hmm. I mean, for example, uh, Ukraine or, or Serbia and so on. From, not from, from European Union, third countries. Um, with the beginning of the automotive industry in Slovakia, um, you were in advantage because your workforce was not as expensive as it was maybe in Germany. With the European Union that changed a bit and with the quality that the cars are made here, um, the average pay, paying worker will be just raising his wage. Um, 
do you think this will slowly bring down the automotive industry? How will you adapt to that as we see that like, Detroit is going down as a big like, city of yeah. the automotive industry? So, uh, it's uh, every, every, uh, uh, every increase of uh, uh, wages, it's, it's uh, important to compensate by the productivity increase. Yeah. This is this is this is logical. Second uh, important thing is that uh, general in in the in the world, uh, it's every year less and less uh, interest to to study technical study, and to work in the industry. Therefore, in the future it will be very important, or this industry will remain in the countries on in the region where this industry find enough people, skilled people, that we, who are able to produce, who are able to work in, this, in these factories. And uh, of course, in the future, we are today before the revolution in automotive industry. The industry for the digitalization, this is, this is also a challenge also for us. Mm -hmm. Today, we, we face that we don't have enough skilled people, but for this level of, of the production, in the future we have to find the ways how to increase uh, the interest uh, to study in uh, technical studies, mainly in universities, because the, the production personnel in the factory of the future uh, will be totally another than today. And the future is very close. How are you plan planning to do that? Is there a plan for uh, interesting said, young I people said, in technology I and yes, automotive? I said, I said we are, we are uh, now on the preparation of the strategy, mm. how, to, uh, how to transform the, the Slovak uh, mainly technical university uh, study. And of course, Slovak government prepared the strategic materials, the uh, economical strategy and also the uh, industry four strategy how to implement the, the new 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 trends in industry to the Slovak industry because we of course have some specialties. How much did the government uh, at the beginning of the automotive industry have to chip in um, as far as infrastructure, um, roads, railroads? Um, they had to build some uh, or invest in some infrastructure. So, uh, uh, of course at first, the locations for the future car maker plants, they have to be close to the infrastructure. Mm. Uh, there, uh, there have to be, uh, they have to be close to the motorway, to the railway. They, they, and, and some have it, to be it, built, right? It, and it, it, is, it is not, not so, so much to invest then, you have only to to put this this uh, connection to this to this to this uh, to this uh, uh, plant. Mm -hmm. If you don't have this there, then it's very expensive. This investment also for for the government, and also this is this is you know this is problem. If you if you if the government invest only because the investor is there, or investor would like would like be there, then this investment is 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 also can be considered also as a state aid, you know. Mm -hmm. And this, this investment to the infrastructure then, uh, mm, then minimalize the state aid for the, for the investor which, or which the, the part of the state aid which can this investor to use. As I understand correctly, before the Kia, there was no highway to Žilina. It was. It was? It was. Okay. It was, therefore, we, 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 we try to find such a location which which has this this uh, this uh, attribute mm. in for example location uh, for which was prepared for for kia there is one kilometer far big big electricity electricity transformation station mm -hmm. there is in in close to this 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 uh, this um, location is the railway main railway uh, in julina there is a highway connection or it was be close to, to the fi uh, close before the finishing. Yes, uh, there is also 
gas uh, or pipeline for, for the gas, yes? And each, 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 uh, each uh, uh, location which we have prepared in this, or we, we, we had prepared in the time, uh, these, these locations were, were equipped with this. Mm -hmm. Basic, basic, basic uh, attributes uh, for the investors. It should be flat and so on and so on. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.